Hello, welcome to BadDragonProductions.com. I wanted to go over something today for you Mac users out there that are familiar with TextEdit. And if you wanted to write a web page without the use of an HTML editor, you know, like Dreamweaver or such, if you wanted to do it in just TextEdit, because TextEdit saves all your files as an RTF, a rich text format, saves it as an RTF file, you are not able to save the file extensions necessary to write a web page. Now I know on the HTML, if you want to do text edit to write a web page, there's an option down here to save as HTML. However, that doesn't work. And furthermore, if you're going to write a style sheet, a .css file, you are not able to save anything in text edit with an extension on it besides RTF. So let's say we wanted to save a style sheet, .css, and you go to save. It says use both or use your RTF. Well, if you use your RTF, you're just going to have your text edit document. If you use both, it's still going to be a text edit document and it's not going to be recognized by your browser or the um, companion code. So what you have to do is go into your text edit and change your preferences from rich text format to plain text format. You turn on your plain text format preference in text edit and then you can put whatever extensions on your saved files that you want. So we'll close this and we'll do a new text edit and then go to save it and now we can call it our style sheet. We'll just go to style dot CSS and you save it. Now you have a style dot CSS document. You do another one, a new one, and you save it as your HTML file. We'll call this one index.html. Save it. Notice there's no errors. TextEdit let you save those two files. One is a CSS document and one is an HTML document. Now you'd write your code in your CSS document, your styles, and then you'd write your HTML code in your HTML document, and then you can browse or you can open it in a browser to see your finished product. Well, I did this the other day right in two minute template that I put out on YouTube. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna take the style out of the one that I've completed. So we'll copy it and cheat. So let's say you've, now you've just finished all your CSS style coding and then you're gonna write your uh, HTML. If you only get halfway through a project and then you have to close your text edit, when you go to reopen that text edit that you haven't finished yet, it's always going to pop up as the HTML file. Because you saved it as an HTML file, it's always going to pop up in a browser. So you're going to see your half finished web page. So what you have to do is you go to view, source, and then you have to copy the code that's in that source and then paste it into a new textedit.html file. So now when you paste it, here's your HTML code and then here's the CSS link. This right here tells it to read this sheet. So here's your CSS code. Here's your HTML code. Make sure they're both saved. And then when you go into your browser and you refresh it, there's your page. So for all you Mac users out there that may not have a uh, web authoring software, it is possible to do it in TextEdit. You just have to go into TextEdit, change your prefs from rich text format to plain text format, which enables you to save your text edit files with extensions .css and .html and then when you go ahead and you launch those new documents here's your index when you double click it there's your html web page and if you wanted to add to it you'd have to go to view source you'd have to copy all the source let's say you wanted to tweak this you'd have to copy all the source 
you'd have to go into a new text edit. You'd have to save it as something new. So let's say index two. Uh, index two.html. Whoops, my bad. Save as HTML. Okay. You'd paste in that new code, and then if you wanted it to say something different, let's say you wanted to change something on your site. save it and then when you launch now this first one that you did the index.html you had to tweak it that one's no good anymore because that's just going to show you your your initial web page your new one that you had to create a new one copy the source out of this two and now here's the new tweak that you did to it so that's how you use text edit to write a web page thanks for watching be sure to check out my other videos and we'll be talking to you all soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.